Hey everyone, it's Barn. I'm back with another stuff. Today is Sunday, August 15th, and it's the afternoon time. It's like 2.30 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm coming to you guys with a quick video. Uh, just spent a good amount of time doing a spreadsheet update. Um, got everything 100% updated. The spreadsheet is 1,000% ready to go right now. Just want you guys to know that. We'll be going over that. We've got Reddit's, we've got Omi's price, and I'll wrap it up right there for you guys. Of course, you guys already know. All right, guys. Let's just pop into the spreadsheet right away. All right, guys, like I said, the entire spreadsheet has been updated. The new price are in column I. It's the column where the numbers are slightly larger. It's also the column where the header says 815, which is today's date. Um, I just got all of these updated. I just updated the recent price movements, the percentage gained from VV, the circulating supply numbers are updated, low mintage NFTs page is updated, and the three portfolio calculators are all updated and cleared out. Whew, took me a little while, but that's what I do, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the movers today. Let's just quickly run through it. Um, we got a lot of um, kind of NFTs that kind of stayed even, so I'll probably just kind of touch on as many as I can here um, without going crazy. So let's just go through it. First, right off the bat, Joe Madawera minus 6.5%. We got Todd McFarlane going up 7%. And Jim Lee Joker going up 12.7%, going from 141 all the way up to 159. Now, all while that's happening, somehow the Bruce Tim Harley Quinn is down 8.2%, going from 133 down to 122. The Bruce Tim Harley Quinn, I'm pretty sure, is the FA Harley Quinn, so I'm kind of surprised that it, it was kind of weird. It felt like the Joker and the Harley Quinn prices were kind of tied to each other for a while, but now we see them going, now we see them deviating here. Next, we got a huge move to the upside for Gary Frank Batman, going from $60 all the way up to $70. $4 for a 23% movement. Let's go. We do have Kid Robin going uh, 6% to the downside. Um, and we do have Dad Bod Batman going up 7%, as well as Terry Dodson going up 9%, and Steve Pugh also going up 9%. Pretty much identical there in the percentage gain category. Got Ghostbuster Platinum going down. It's kind of an expensive NFT. Um, these two are kind of surprising. So the Ghost Trap going down 12 more percentage points, going from 490 down to 430, man. This thing is getting just insanely cheap right now. I can't even believe that. And then, of course, I was kind of surprised by this one, too. The Ecto-116 scale went from $29 all the way down to $24 for a 17% loss as well. Um, we had a 6% move to the downside for the um, Ultra Rare Ecto-1. We've got a minus 6.5% move for Marceline, um, and we've got a minus 7.5% movement for Finn Mertens. We've got a plus 9.5% move to the upside for Princess Bubblegum. And, of course, here we go with some random ones. Mooka plus 12.5, Pogo minus 12, Dolce plus 6, Delina plus 7, Corsica plus 7, Tropicana plus 8, Marina plus 13, Perla plus 18. Um, we've got Oceana minus eight. We've got Ultraman Ace going down seven and a half percent, going from 200 down to 185. I think kind of surprised me that it went down that far. Um, Alex Ross minus eight and a half percent. We've got a plus nine and a half percent move to the upside for 80 grain off, going from 63 up to 69 dollars. Um, one six DeLorean minus 15 percent. Um, we're going to skip all of these until we get to Cosmic Cthulhu. Cosmic Cthulhu up 16%, going from 185 up to 215. Um, minus 10% for the Common Dragon Girl, minus 6.5% for the Silver Dragon Girl, plus 8% for the Batgirl, though. Kind of surprising. Plus 8% for um, Captain Cornstarch, plus 11% for... Plus 11.5% for Honey Butt the Obese, going from 129 to 144. Pretty nice move. We've also got a move to the upside for Count Calorie, going from 290, 275 to 295. Um, we've got Superman going from 355 down to 330. I'm kind of curious to see how far down Superman's going to go. We haven't seen these, this price in a long, long time. Um, we've got 
the re, uh, we've got the Givenchy logo plus seven and a half percent. We've got the Pride poster plus seven and a half percent. We've got Amelia Earhart plus nine and a half percent. We've got Happy Stash Lab at up ten and a half. Visible Lab at down seven percent. Marty's hoverboard up eight and a half percent. No tech hoverboard down seven percent, as well as question mark up six and a half percent. Kind of surprising there. Um, Back to the Future poster. Now this is the Mondo Back to the Future poster is actually up sixteen percent. It went from one twenty five and it's up to one forty five. I was very surprised to see that. Shout out to all the Back to the Future poster holders. Um, then we've got a bunch of minus movements for the Spider Mans. Really nothing worth noting there. Um, and then uh, we're not going to talk about too much um, for the move for the drop from yesterday because those things obviously just came out really not worth shouting out. But that's pretty much all the movements we got today, guys. Let me know um, what are you guys' thoughts about these price movements today. I mean, we see some green. We see some red. This kind of feels like a classic, just a classic price update video where we've got some worth shouting out. I think the biggest mover is going to be Gary Frank, so he probably will be the thumbnail of this video. All right, guys, let's pop over to Reddit. First, we got a post from Dun Siso saying, wondering if there's a Telegram group for SR Spider-Man holders. I have no idea, my friend. Next, we got a, we had a post from our homie Redeemed0216 saying, giveaway game. First person to guess the number gets this collectible. And he said, well, I mean, he posted the number on there, so I don't. I don't really know. Anyways, our homie did a giveaway. Shout out to our homie, Redeemed. Thanks for interacting with the community. I mean, obviously, this got a lot of traction, 179 comments. Shout out to our homie. Next, um, from our homie, Logical Bets, what's the best day and time to set your auctions to end? I have no idea, my friend. Next, we've got a post from Hurls saying Red Skull on a rampage. I love this picture. This is actually Red Skull with a little bit of graphics with... One of the captains behind him. And I forget which one this one is. Mm, I'm not sure. Next, we've got a post from a homie, Ivaro, saying another one bites the dust. What is this post? Ah, there it is. Bucky Barnes for a buck. I mean, the name is actually surprisingly fitting. Shout out to our homie, Ivaro. We got Bucky for a buck. I wish I could get Bucky for a buck. Next... Um, we've got a post from NFT Flemmy. How could someone be so angry with such a beautiful sunset? Let's take a peek. Wow. Look at this photo, guys. I love this photo right here. Shout out to our homie NFT Flemmy. Thanks for sharing this, man. This is nice. This is really nice. We got the Red Skull. Next, we got a post from NFT Flemmy. Flenny again. This is another one. We got the Red Skull up there. And next, we got a post from Yo-Yo, I'm totally saying almost threatening. And we've got Lucky, the Lucky Rabbit. Shout out to our homie, Yo-Yo, I'm totally. And next, we got a picture from our homie, Roman Tech, man. And Roman Tech is really changing the game. I mean, this guy is really changing the game. Like, I mean, like, this photo right here, if you don't know what's going on in this photo, you really need to learn because this photo is way more intense than it even seems. This photo is crazy. Shout out to our homie, Roman Tech. I can't believe you've pulled something like this off, man. This looks insane. Shout out to our homie. Um, next, we got Suspicious Wallaby saying, how rare do you guys think the secret rare Spider-Man will would be in a few years? Pros, first appearance, Spider-Man, 1,000 editions. First Marvel collectible on the market, animated with sounds. Cons, no dedicated artist responsible. The series, the entire set consists of the same Spider-Man, which is different poses. The other similar collectibles in the set are highly diluted. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good thought. Um, I don't know. I'm a firm believer in the additions. I, when I'm looking at how expensive something is going to be, I am always looking at additions, though. That's just me. Shout out to our homie Daddy Dallas, giving us a new look into the vault. Let's take a peek. So we've got the Todd hanging out in there. Is he going to show us any more today? He's just going to give us the same. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh my gosh, wow. What a collection. With the Risso, with the Nightwing, with the Superman, Supergirl, Spider-Man. I mean, come on, man. This collection's unfair, man. This collection's unfair. And we've got the Hunter there to top it all off, just to rub it in our faces like the last two things are the Hunter and the Secret Rare poster. Come on, man. You can't be flexing on us like that. Shout out to our homie, Daddy Dallas. And we got a post here that says free footage. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm not about it, though. I don't click links on.